Hi, it's Heather here with New Jersey Buzz Local. We're here in Princeton today. Today we're at Roots Ocean Prime. I'm here today with Kyle, and Kyle's going to tell you a little bit about it. Kyle? We're happy to be down here in Princeton. Uh, just uh, opened up in October. Uh, we're part of Harvest Restaurant Group, and uh, we currently have um, uh, four Roots Steakhouse. We came down here and we opened up and added some seafood to our menu. Um, we are part of uh, Harvest Restaurants, which is also has the Dinky Restaurant right next door to us, and uh, Agricola, which is located on Witherspoon Street. I read that you have um, food that comes in locally. Can you tell us about that since we're New Jersey Buzz local? We try to source as much as we can locally, produce and um, you know seafood vendors down from from right off the Jersey uh, Shore. We get some of our seafood, so we try to stay as local as we can. Absolutely. Uh, so, real very happy to be here and part of Princeton, and uh, looking looking forward to seeing you all here soon. Uh, Roots Ocean Prime is a restaurant in Princeton. Uh, we're owned by the uh, Harvest Restaurant Group. The Harvest Restaurant Group was started by the Grabowski family. Uh, the Grabowski family uh, started the restaurant group in 1996. Uh, before that, uh, Chip Grabowski, the owner of the company, has been in the restaurant business many years, was in the family business. Uh, and then he uh, opened up his first restaurant, Trap Rock Restaurant in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. And then uh, over the years we've grown, we have 14 restaurants. As a family owned business for many years, tell us something about all the restaurants because they're not all just steakhouses. And the awesome, great question. Like I said, we have 14 restaurants. Our first restaurant was a brew pub. Uh, we still have the restaurants called Trap Rock. We brew our own beer there. Uh, and it's, you know, we started to really get into the farm, the table scene that's going on. And actually, as we uh, bought these restaurants in Princeton, uh, we uh, use a lot of local farms and all down in Princeton. We also, up in Bergen County, we use Gothel Farms, a local farm up there. Uh, and the different restaurants, the steakhouse is obviously more of the upscale, uh, the prime beef that we use in the restaurants. Only 3% of the beef produced in the United States is prime beef. And again, we use the farm to table, local ingredients, and we try to, you know, make something for every guest that comes in a restaurant. Now, do you take the brewery? Um, beer and bring them to your restaurants? Well, uh, yes and no. Uh, you, we take the recipe, uh, but the way the laws are in New Jersey, somebody else produces that same recipe and then they distribute to the restaurants. We're actually working on a license right now so we can self-distribute, uh, but the beer is great. We have it in all our restaurants. Uh, it's Trap Rock. It's called Heather Red, Ghost Pony, and people love the beer. So again, bringing it back to the family owned because that's something very important to me and I know that's very important to a lot of people that come out and spend their money when they don't have to. They're very community minded. Something big with a lot of people. I tell you what, thank you for asking me about that. We're actually heavily involved in all our communities, but in New Jersey we have the uh, Community Food Bank out of Hillside, New Jersey. We do tons of uh, different events with those guys. We do events everywhere. Uh, but the one thing about the Grabowski family, we really, in all the areas, we really believe in tying into the community and we really believe in our employees we just did an event we closed down on Super Bowl Sunday every year and all our employees we have 1200 employees all our employees were invited to our restaurant on route 10 we have two restaurants we have the parking lots wide open with tents with food trucks from 12 to 4 we had all our employees there about 800 people ended up coming to the event and all it was just an awesome event let's say thank you you guys and us we raised $40,000 in November for the New Jersey Food Bank. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. We have to be there next time. Andy, when I walked in, I saw the bar and the seats and saw that, and then I came in this fabulous back room. Can you rent this out? Absolutely. And you know, it's funny. When we uh, took over the restaurant and we closed it down from the previous owner, we made it Roots Ocean Prime. We have three areas in a restaurant of rooms. We kind of wanted to go after the university and be tied into university. So the front room you saw would seats up to 35 people for a private event. It's called the Ivy Room. And then we have the hockey rink right next to us, which is famous throughout the United States. A lot of great hockey people have come out of Princeton. It's called the Baker. And then back here, the Firestone Library, which is one of the biggest libraries 
as the United States. We call this room back here the Firestone Room. And actually yesterday, we had Colgate University, the lacrosse team in here. 60 kids were in here with their parents and all before the game. They played Princeton University yesterday. So it was awesome. So we could do up to 65 people in this room here. In Princeton, I know a lot of people worry about parking. Oh, I love that question. That's my favorite question. So I, I tell you what, the university has been great to us as here the restaurant we're in, Roots Ocean Prime, we're located on the U right on the university, but I gotta tell you at lunch, there's plenty of parking right on the street. It's metered parking, but it's right on the street. And what the parking is at night, uh, there's a five level parking garage right behind the restaurant, uh, right by the hockey rink. And after 5 p.m., anybody could park in that uh, location. And on the weekends, everybody could park in there. So you go five o'clock at night, and then Saturday and Sunday all day long, and it's free, and the university does a great job in letting everybody park there. I agree with you. And not to bring it back to uh, beer, wine, but behind us, I see a nice wine cooler. So at Roots, you know, we have different mixtures of wines, obviously. In a steakhouse, we sell a lot of red wine, a lot of Cabernet. There's about $25,000, $30,000 worth of wine back here. We've got Meritages. Uh, we've got some great French wine. We've got some great Italian wines. And like I said, we've got some great Cabernets. And, it, you know, we have bottles inexpensive as $45. And we have wines that we sell up to $1,000 a bottle. So we have all different ranges of wines for all different types of folks. That's wonderful. So I guess Andy's telling us he's giving us a $1,000 bottle of wine today, huh? Absolutely. For you guys, the best. Well, we thank you so much for taking the time with us because you're a great restaurant in the local area, and Princeton is a great area. Come and check them out. Dine, shop, play local.